Today we're gonna to talk about what happened when I took omega-3 fatty acid supplements every day for 90 days. Now, there's a lot of research out there about the health benefits of omega-3s for like the whole body, whether it be for brain health or heart health, uh, joint health, and considering I'm an eye doctor, yeah, there's a lot out there on eye health, especially for retinal health for people who are diabetic or for people with macular degeneration, but then quite a bit also for dry eyes, which is something that I've personally battled with since my early 20s, despite using warm compresses and lid scrubs and occasional use of eye drops, all of that. And I have taken omega-3s in the past for dry eye, but I was never really sure if they were really working and I was never consistent with it. So I thought, hey, could I do it more scientifically? Could I take omega-3s every day for 90 days and would it improve my dry eye symptoms? And could I track it? Could I take a blood test beforehand so I knew where my omega-3s were to begin with? Could I take the supplements while watching my dry eye symptoms and actually tracking that? Then checking my blood afterward to make sure that the omega-3s were in fact making a difference and then also track my dry eye metrics, including like measuring the oils that are being produced from my own meibomian glands and my eyelids. And honestly, another reason I wanted to do this challenge is because the concept of omega-3 supplements to improve dry eye is still debated in the eye care profession because there are some studies that do suggest Yes, they are beneficial, but then there's some studies that say no. And even a Cochrane meta-analysis published in 2019 found that their review suggests that, yeah, omega-3s may play a possible role. However, the evidence is uncertain and inconsistent, which is probably why there's so much debate, right? There's so much inconsistencies with all the studies around how many milligrams that they were treating with, what type of brand or type of omega-3 that they were having patients supplement with, how long they were gonna take it, and then everybody's metrics of measuring success are different across these studies too. Now, I have been trained in and personally value evidence-based medicine, so when there's research studies that are out there that are kinda wishy-washy, you know, I, I remain skeptical and it always makes me kind of wonder, like, is this something that's truly gonna be good for my patient? Is something I should be recommending in the clinic? And I think that's why a lot of doctors like myself have kind of sat on the fence and have always just kind of told our patients, well, it's something you can try um, and see if it works for you, but more often than not, we end up falling on like prescription medications and procedures, things that have been tested more regular, rigorously and have more, we have more confidence in those results and those sort of treatments. So I wanted to know if there was any truth to this. Could taking omega-3 supplements really help me with my dry eyes? And not just for my own personal reasons, but also for professional reasons, because I want to feel confident in recommending this to my patients if I think it's really going to help them. And I think same thing for my viewers and subscribers here. I wanted to feel confident in it before ever kind of recommending or talking about it here on the channel. Now again, before I started this journey, I first wanted to know where my baseline was. Where are my omega-3s just based off of my diet? So I ordered a test through a company called OmegaQuant, which is an online blood work test. And I suggest that if you decide you wanna follow in my footsteps, you wanna start taking omega-3 supplements, see if it helps you, uh, certainly check out OmegaQuant. I'll put a link in the description that'll save you a few bucks if you do wanna try it. So these here were my my initial baseline results with an omega-3 index of around 4.3, which I found pretty fascinating because it helped me answer another question. I've had a lot of other viewers ask me if flaxseed oil or getting omega-3s through vegetable sources in their diet was equivalent or worked as well as getting a fish oil supplement, for example. And the thing about my results is that I've been eating largely a whole food plant-based diet for the last seven years, meaning I do eat meat and fish, but I only do it on a rare occasion, maybe like once a week at most. And one thing I have read in the research and something that omega-3 companies do love to promote because it is in their best interest, and that's that ALA forms of omega-3, which you get from, let's say, the ground flaxseed I put in my oatmeal every morning, that that just does not convert in your system very efficiently to the more usable forms of EPA 
and DHA. I guess it does convert a little bit, but only like a one to 3% or something like that. So while my initial readings of like 4.3 were kind of decent, but they weren't great, you want to be up closer between that eight and 12% mark. So perhaps there is some truth to this that our bodies just don't convert plant-based sources of omega-3s very well. Bummer. But again, in addition to just tracking the omega-3s in my blood, I also went into the clinic and took some dry eye measurements, including tracking my dry eye symptoms, along with scanning my meibomian glands and measuring my oil lipid layer levels. So once we had all those preliminaries taken care of, I then began taking the omega-3 supplements, and I figured, hey, if I'm gonna be doing this, if any omega-3 is gonna be helping me with my dry eye, I'm gonna go with the most highly respected, eye doctor recommended omega-3 for dry eye, and that was that of PRN, or Physicians Recommended Nutraceuticals. And again, this video is not sponsored by anyone, not by PRN, they had nothing to do with the self-study. But with that, that means that I took three soft gels of about 2,400 milligrams total of omega-3s every day for the 90 days. And all of this while I continued to eat the same plant-based diet with rarely eating any eggs, meat, or dairy. And then finally, at the end of the 90 days, I ordered a second Omega Quant blood test, and my results ended up showing a 9.5 on the omega-3 index scale. So yes, my body was in fact absorbing omega-3s. I went from that 4.3 up to a 9.5. But how did this affect my dry eyes? So honestly, in that first month, things got much worse. My dry eye felt like crap. I think a lot of that is because before starting the omega-3s, I was doing like warm compresses like twice a day and still occasionally using eye drops. But at the beginning, I was just taking the omega-3s. I tried to quit doing the warm compresses and everything. So I eventually, during the tough times, I did kind of resort back to doing warm compresses and using some eye drops just as kind of a rescue therapy. But then, Around the six to eight week mark, that's when I started to notice an improvements in my symptoms. And it was pretty shocking to me early on because I was like, whoa, the last few days, my eyes have actually felt pretty good. And then they continued to feel good as time went on. In fact, after about that two month mark, I felt like I really didn't need to do warm compresses at, at all. And the eyes actually felt pretty good. I even noticed that in my own self-checks that my meibomian glands were looking much healthier. I have this little uh, kind of mirror called an eye check, and if you want to get one yourself, I'll put a link in the description below. But using that, I could see that my meibomian glands were flowing a lot better, and they weren't getting clogged, where previously I would still on occasion be able to notice that my oil glands were starting to get capped. And yeah, it was kind of cool just to see how good the oils were flowing. And then finally, at that 90 day mark, I had significant improvement in my own dry eye symptoms with and without wearing contact lenses. It, it, it was a pretty significant sh kind of shock and honestly, I was pretty happy with it. It was, it was great. Now, I just certainly don't want to oversell it, but at least from my personal experience here, it was a very positive experience. And uh, now it's been almost five months and I'm still taking the omega-3s. Interestingly, looking at the lipid layer levels of my tear film in the clinic, both before and after, you can see that my lipid layers also did improve a little bit. It's not perfect. It's, we'd like to see it at the 100% or 100 nanometer mark. Um, so maybe I would still benefit from other procedures, maybe like IPL, for example. But overall, again, seeing that lipid layer level increase made me really happy. Now, of course, I am just an N of one. This is basically completely anecdotal, but if you wanna try any of this yourself, you wanna start taking omega-3, see if it helps you, there's a couple of tips and things that I would recommend. First is, as again, check your blood levels first. Try to see where you are in your diet. If you wanna pursue just trying to eat more fish and change your diet to get omega-3s alone rather than taking supplements. So uh, there are a couple different brands out there, but I know MegaQuant is the one that I used. Second is to try to be consistent. Take 
the omega-3 supplement every single day for myself to help remind myself to take them. I would leave my omega-3s out in the open, uh, like in the kitchen on the table where I could see them every single day. Otherwise, tracking it on your phone or on a calendar is a good idea. Also, definitely continue to maintain good eyelid hygiene, cleaning your eyelids every day. It's something that I did do throughout this challenge just as part of my normal hygiene routine. Um, but if I, I do have other videos on blepharitis and, and how to properly do that if you haven't seen those videos before. Warm compresses are also something I would recommend to continue doing just to get your oil glands pumping the best that they can. Uh, it's something that I'm still doing just to keep my oil glands working because, uh, you know, long-term wise, I don't want to lose those glands. And then of course, talking to your local eye doctor about your plans to take omega-3 supplements and if they have any concerns about the quantity or the amount of milligrams that you plan to take and if that may clash with any other medications or anything. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know in the comment section any of your story or experiences using omega-3 supplements, whether it was for dry eye or other bodily health issues. Uh, otherwise, if you want to learn more about omega-3 brands and other milligrams dosing, uh, I have done some other videos going over that, so you can check that out over here. Otherwise, again, thanks for watching. Dr. Allen here from Dr. Eye Health. Keep an eye on it. And we'll see you in that next one.